everyone, Friday, October 2nd here with your day trading recap. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. End of the day, uh, positive $722. I feel like I could have done even better with the amount of movement that we had in the markets today. But hey, plus 722, not too shabby. I uh, just had a couple of little mighty 90 trades in Intel and Roku, just cut those losses short pretty quick uh, and got out of those. No pairs trades today. Runners made 807. Monster winner in Tesla. Great trade. I'll show you that. Another nice winner in Apple. And then kind of got chopped up in Boeing and, and some of these others uh, for, for a little bit of losses. Biggest loss was in Roku. Biggest winner was in Tesla. So let's take a look at what we did here today, starting with Apple. Um, Apple, so I caught a couple of these where Mark was acting pretty strong all morning and then all of a sudden the bottom just dropped out and, and things started flushing. So I, I got a little bounce here. I caught this move down in Apple. Oops. Caught this move down here in Apple after it bounced here a little bit. So I caught this right here. Uh, in Tesla, my biggest winner, let me zoom in on this screen a little bit so we can kind of see the whole day. So again, it was, it, you know, it was, it was underwater as far as, as far as it was down on the day, but the price action looked really strong. And then when things started to really roll over, uh, that's when I got aggressive on my shorts here and just on this little bounce here, I caught this. Uh, once we had another bounce here, I caught this. And so just a, just a really nice winner in Tesla. I was able to hold this almost all the way down. I actually got out pretty close to the bottom here. And then when it bounced, I held it all the way back down to this pivot level. So just a couple of really good trades in Tesla and Apple. Um, Boeing got chopped up a little bit in. Beyond got chopped up. Facebook was a small winner. Nikola, just a quick loss, just cut my losses quick there. Peloton was one that uh, had a decent winner in until things kind of fell apart uh, later in the morning. Had this big push up, started to consolidate, and we caught a nice runner here running into all-time highs. And then when the market started falling apart, it just dropped, and I just got out of all my longs. So ended up getting a little bit of a winner in, in Peloton, but had a lot more profit in there before that drop. And then Roku, my biggest loser. Uh, so Roku, uh, yeah, I was trying to get long here and I got flushed out. Uh, that was that was pretty much it in Roku. And then Zoom, uh, another loser as well. I was trying to I was trying to catch a long runner and it kind of fell apart once the market started falling apart as well. So got flushed out of that one. Overall, uh, we were able to so we, after that disaster on Monday, which was just completely my fault, nothing to do with the strategy, but just the way that I traded, just traded terrible. And that, so I was down 2,600 bucks on runners on Monday. So I was just digging myself out of a hole, scratched all the way back, almost to break even on the week. And, um, and so look forward to building on that consistency again, going into next week. I did a recap video of the month as well. So total for the month of the uh, calendar month of September, total trade summary profit $15,271. Uh, P&L per trade 59. Obviously most of that coming from the runners, which we're continuing to refine uh, in the trade room. And we'll be releasing the, the uh, official class on that coming up here pretty soon. So hope everybody has a great weekend and we will see you on Monday live in the trading room. See you then.